Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. To find out more time you're watching this little party of the world here, and this is Chris again, the Watch Lounge Queen, with another video. Today's video review is of those three Ernst Mans, as promised. Quick rest watch check. I am indeed wearing that Victorinox Enox for you. This guy coming up. I'm, I'm really digging this. This one's really growing on me, guys. But as mentioned, this is the Ernst Mans, the Chrono Lunar, the Triple Chrono Lunar review, guys. I, I had spoken with Leonid, the owner of the company, and as I mentioned, I had spoken with him over the phone a couple times. And you, what's cool about this brand is you can definitely tell he's passionate about watches when you talk to him. And he's been around the industry for years, and he knows his stuff when it comes to building a quality watch. As I mentioned in the unboxing, this one also, if, if these had Jaeger LeCoultre on the dial, they would definitely be probably twenty, thirty thousand dollars pieces all day long. As they are a triple date in moon phase, guys, or GMT as well. Which is really, really killer. It's definitely a lot of watch in watch complications into one watch for the these vary from price going on up from about six thousand to about seventy two hundred. Which you may think that is a lot of watch. These are indeed handmade in Switzerland and as as I mentioned, definitely if they were for the complications that you get with them, if they had Jaeger but culture on the doubt, they would definitely be about twenty grand. Now this is a brand that you don't really hear much about on YouTube. And I'm hoping to change that, guys. I'm hoping to build a, a relationship with the owner of the company. Hopefully, they'll be kind enough to send in more pieces in the future for me to check out and show you guys. As you can do know, I like to cover a wide variety of watches from Casio all the way up to Blancpain, hopefully AP at some point, everything in between, micro brands, everything. Now, these are not a micro brand, guys. This is an older company as well. Definitely a lot of cool history in it. And if you remember, if you look at my archives, I did indeed review the Ernst Benz, the parchment, the 18th degree uh, parallel parchment uh, watch, which was a pretty cool watch, had a pretty cool story behind it. A lot of these watches have cool different stories behind them. Like, I, I have seen a limited edition uh, Dan Marino uh, sign watch, which is pretty cool. Has that blue and orange, that, that Miami Dolphin blue. As he is, I believe, a sports enthusiast as well as a car enthusiast. They do have... A couple, I think a Camaro offering, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong down there. And I will leave a link to their website down below where you can contact them directly. And if you are interested in any of these watches or any other spins, just tell them that the watch sounds sent you. Tell them you saw my video on here and, and let them know that you're interested in the watches. And again, now who is this watch for? This watch is for the person that wants something a little bit different, something a little bit unique outside the box. Besides your usual Speedmaster or your usual Daytona, whatever else. Or you might already have those watches and you might just want, want some different. But again, these are all three different versions. They did have this case handmade for the tour, guys. This will go on tour with about eight or nine other YouTubers. I am the first to kick off the tour. It, as mentioned, I can work with Ross Galen. My, my good buddy Ross was kind enough to start this tour up for us. And then I had uh, added a bunch of other YouTubers, Random Rob among them, will be one to review these. these. Like I said, he's kind enough to take a look at these. But again, like I said, these are really cool pieces, guys. Now, this one right here on the left is a 47mm version. It's a big boy, but it, it really wears really well. As you will see in this video, I will show all three different sizes on my wrist. The middle one is the one I'm more drawn to, and that is the 44mm. As you know, I have a 7.5 inch wrist. And again, these these are the three different versions. I've been drawn more to the 44 millimeter guys and gals because it, as you know, as I mentioned, I usually don't like gold in watches, but this one kind of, I've been kind of drawn to with the brown alligator leather strap. Now all these do have alligator leather straps, guys and girls, which is pretty nice touch, pretty nice little addition and kind of dresses them up a little bit. But of course, as you know, you can throw in the aftermarket data. Now I do believe that alligator strap option on these is about a $400 option, $700. They had sent me an invoice over with this, and I kind of misplaced it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But um, this, again, like I said, these, these range from about six to 7300 And you can contact them on their website. You can email them. Like I said, let them know you found out about them through uh, the Watch Lounge. See what you can uh, work out, guys. Like I said, Leonid is really cool, and you can definitely tell he's an enthusiast behind the brand. But again, I will show you what these all look like on my wrist. In this case, again, was, as I mentioned, was handmade by a gentleman of the name of Hong Dot. And it, this case is really cool. So this was built for the tour. Again, I will be kicking off the tour. And then I will be sending it back to Ernst Benz and they will ship them back out to the next person on the tour. But here is the 47mm, guys. I just wanted to show you 
Now this video will be a little bit longer than I usually go, so I ignore my ramblings, guys. This is, as I mentioned, kind of a, a, a chunky but big watch, but it really doesn't wear that bad. And again, this is the black and yellow version. They have many other versions you can check out on their website. Not really thick. I know I just said chunky, but not really thick, guys. And these are only 5 ATM water resistant, but you, you would imagine that with a triple eight chrono, which is pretty cool. It, it's enough if you wash your hands or, you know, you get wet and caught in the rain, whatever. It does have the posters here at the 2 o'clock. In the 4 o'clock, it is a moon phase, 24 hour and date complication, as well as GMT, which is, like I said, a lot of watch for the money, guys. I will show you what this looks like on the wrist shortly. Now, as mentioned, here is the brown leather. This is the 44 millimeter edition. And this one fits my wrist almost perfectly, about seven and a half inches I, on my wrist. So this one fits, and this one is definitely not bad at all. These do come with sapphire crystals, guys, of course. And you can see the clean cleanliness of the dowel. The only thing is, I, I you can probably hear that movement going. But I, I kind of like that, the, the quirkiness about it. You can see the earn spins here on the dial. Chronograph, automatic. Something kind of unique, different. Different kind of take. The gold uh, applied markers, like I said, look work really well. And again, this is the 44 millimeter version, guys. I will take out the 40 millimeter next, which I feel like is probably more of a universal size. As I feel like most of you will probably gravitate towards the 40 mil. And again, now now who gets these? These are probably bought by somebody who has kind of everything already in their collection. That you might already have a Speedy. Or you might already have a Daytona. Rolex Daytona. Something like that. And you just want something a little bit different and unique. Or you may want to stray from the usual speedy or daytona and you may go this route guys excuse me again these are really great watches for the price range like i said if they had regular culture on the dial they would be about 20 grand all day long and then here is a case back shot of that this is that value movement which is really cool to use value movement you don't really see that movement in a lot of watches you kind of see that running and going it's pretty cool Clear case back. They do use an O ring. And here I will show you what all three of them look like on my seven and a half inch wrist. I will show you side by side. I'll take that Victorinox off and show you guys and gals what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Again, like I said, that Valjoon movement on these is really cool, guys. Really killer movement. I, I've had it in a couple different watches that I've been I have it had in room for review and never had any problems. And any watchmaker should be able to work it. Here is that 47 millimeter version, guys. Again, a, my seven and a half inch wrist, I can fit it perfectly on the wrist. So here's just to give you a side by side. Here's what it looks like next to that Victorinox, which is definitely a decent, decently larger watch. Again, both of these don't wear, really wear too big for their stated size. These kind of like Seiko's where they kind of wear a little bit smaller. Again, you can see iron spins on the hardware there. The buckle, pretty cool. The alligator leather strap. Definitely overall really impressed with the package on these. Can't really complain too much on these. The, the only thing I have against it is the five atmospheres of water resistance. Again, that's to be expected on a chronograph, especially one pack with so many options and the value movement. And that's that's enough for you. You're not going to take these out swimming or anything like that, guys. So that's that, that's definitely plenty of water resistance for that. I will show you next what the 44 millimeter version looks like on my wrist. And again, this is the one I've personally been most drawn to. Now you can write down in the comments which one you like the most. Do you like the 40? Do you like the 44 or do you like the 47 the best? I, I just happen to be drawn with the four, drawn to the 44, excuse me, guys. Definitely fits my wrist almost perfect. I feel like the 40 is probably going to be the more popular version. And here it is on the brown alligator leather strap. Or brown alligator strap, excuse me, guys. Definitely really killer combination with that gold. 
I feel like you can dress these up, dress these down either way and get away with it. I've been wearing these around the house. I just kind of wear it with casual clothes. So, but you can definitely dress these up as well. Use these as kind of a dressy piece, even though they are a bit bigger. And I will show you next what the 40 millimeter version looks like on my wrist. Again, I feel like this will probably be the most popular model. And leaning in, wanted to show you guys the different options, different color options they have. So that he was kind enough to send out three. Instead of sending out the same same color, he thought that would be kind of boring, which, which, which is he, he was right about that, you know, showing you three of the same watches. This way you guys get up to look at a little variety of watches. You can see that red GMT hand there. This 40, again, like I said, will definitely be the most popular size, I feel like. Anyways, and, and I will show you guys the watches next to each other. Just to get a size comparison. Definitely a difference in size there, guys. Valjean movement. And all these. And again, that, that's a movement you don't see a lot of, which is really cool. They are not in-house movements, so you might think that's a little pricey for a non-in-house movement. But again, once you see the specs that goes into this, like I said, with all the triple date calendar, the moon phase, everything, GMT hand, everything that goes into it. If, if these were any other brand, they would be a $20,000 watch all day long, guys. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have you thought about this brand? Have you heard about this brand before? Are you thinking about buying this brand? Like I said, this is kind of for the gentleman or lady. Who kind of already has a lot of different pieces and they want something kind of unique or somebody who likes to stray from the normal daytona or from the normal speedy or whatever else and they want something kind of unique let me know down in the comments below if you haven't already please like subscribe comment down below hit that notification bell as i do come out with reviews like this updated daily let me know and again go over check out their site thanks again lena for uh sending these out and starting the tour with me Hopefully get to uh, see many more pieces from you in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.